Hi, my name is Matt. I'm bringing the workout of the week. I'm a trainer here at the Houstonian. I have a degree in kinesiology, a certified personal trainer. We're going to use a barbell today and we'll do a couple different exercises maybe you had not seen, but some you probably have using a wheel. So, you're going to try to do 20 reps of each of these four exercises and go through four rounds. If you want to make it harder, go through five rounds as fast as you can. If you want to scale it down, do three. Okay, the first one is a basic squat. I'm going to do the front squat first in the front rack position. Weight's going to be over your heels. I'm going to pull it up, up on your shoulders. Make sure your elbows are up high. Don't drop down. Don't choke yourself either. Feet right underneath you, hip to shoulder width, toes pointing out slightly. Drop down, look up. Go as deep as you feel comfortable. But if you can, go at least 90 or below if you feel comfortable there, okay? A lot of people, if you got knee problems, be careful on that. That's the front squat. Back squat, make sure it doesn't slam on your neck. Keep it on your traps. Go a little bit wider with the position here. Same thing, driving through the heels. You not slightly. Make sure the weight doesn't come forward and get into your back. All right, from there, we're gonna do a rollout. This is the one I was talking about. You probably haven't done on a barbell. We usually use the wheels. Back at my dad's house, he used to run around as a little kid. So go back old school, be careful. Make sure your back is solid, meaning you don't wanna let your back drop and get it hyperextended. So you tuck those hips in, roll out, tap in the chest, all the way up. Pretty extreme on the shoulders also. I'll show you sideways. This is what you don't want to do. Dropping down, see how my back is not extended. Make sure you're strong there, tucked in. A little bit of pelvic tilt. Come with your hands right underneath your shoulders. I'll do one more. Try to get 20 of those. Next thing is the deadlift. Pretty basic. You can do alternating grips if you want. Or those four different ways you can do it. Again, all your weights on your heels, coming up, close it out, squeeze your glutes, sit back in your heels, butt back first, sliding down, when it gets to your knees, everything moves as a unit. You can go a little bit faster if you want. Go sideways there, make sure your back doesn't roll out. Don't pop up, don't roll out, and pull from your back. Also, as you come up, make sure you're not rolling at your shoulders, okay? Last thing is a Spider-Man push-up. So you're going here, a little bit of a balance. You're doing a Spider-Man elbow to knee. Close it out. We're going pretty deep on this. Make sure your shoulder's okay on this. That's pretty difficult to balance. 20 of those. If you can do all those unbroken, that's pretty good. So you're going to do that four times, four rounds, 20 reps of each. If you got questions, let me know and be careful. Like I said, it's pretty tough on your shoulders and your back. Blackwell at Houstonian.com is the email. I hope to see you next week. Thanks for coming.